I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. We were on our way to explore the communities in Oroville and uh, suddenly it started to pour so much. Look at it, just under the shade of a nice big tree. So I'm protected for now. But it's such a fun day. It looks really, really nice. The weather is so good. Just waiting for the rain to stop so that we can go and you know explore the rest of the place. So just say yes Choose to do whatever comes next so Just be brave and come along I wanna do it all this was day two in Oroville and we enjoyed our bike ride so much and it was such a fun thing to explore on our own the communities in Oroville. And for those of you who do not know, Oroville is an experimental township located in Tamil Nadu and it's just 11 kilometers from Pondicherry. It's a township dedicated to human unity and it is also free of any government, money or religion. There are people from all over the world who have chosen Oroville as their home and today there are people from 124 countries and about 3000 people live here. They don't call themselves Indians but Aurovillians. This is a place many often resort to relax the mind, body and soul. And it's a completely planned city which is so beautifully designed with various zones like construction, social, harmony and private zones. So today we had set out to explore some communities here in Auroville and since it was a very short trip this time I couldn't cover many of the places but I'm sharing with you some of my favorite zones here and I hope you enjoy it. So as I've mentioned earlier, Oroville is a completely planned township and it has different zones dedicated to different activities. So this is the international zone which is one of the four principal zones of the Oroville city area. The other three being the residential, cultural and industrial zones. So this zone is a designated site for national pavilions from around the world. Basically, if you do not know, a pavilion is a fundamental display of the genius of each nation and these spaces have exhibition spaces, there is center for research activities and also a lot of cultural events happens here. So this is a French pavilion here in Oroville. This has a permanent exhibition center. It is also a center to promote and spread French culture and uh, a lot of research activities happens here. It is also a center to receive students, researchers, teachers as well as artists from France who will participate in programs offered here in Oroville and a lot of cultural activities also happens here in this area. This is called Bharat Nivas and it is a pavilion of India. Apparently this was the first pavilion to be built in the international zone of Oroville and it's a 75 acre campus with a lot of facilities like an auditorium, exhibition space and studios. The campus also has a guest house called Atiti Griha which is my favorite.
porque these paintings so pretty. I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. Inside Atiti Griha guest house, I'll show you inside. I get so caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning in his blue eyes. This is a super charming South Indian style guest house yet has so much of a contemporary vibe. I love how beautifully it is laid out with so much of greenery around. It's no surprise that this building too in Oroville has an earthy feel but I love the bright finish of the exterior. This lovely guest house is designed by an architect called Dharmesh Chadeja and uh, this firm indulges in thorough research of local materials and techniques and consistently engages with artisans to blend the ancient art of building with progressive designs. So if you're considering exploring the interiors of Oroville, it is only possible if you stay in one of these guest houses here. With regards to the rooms, don't expect a 5 star comfort as it is usually a bare minimum here and you will only have basic facilities as it is all about embracing minimalism and a simple way of living here in Oroville. Also if you want to make a booking, you will have to call the property directly as they don't do bookings through any online sites. So that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please do give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon with another video and until then take care. Bye.